I would like to announce my retirement as a college basketball coach. It's been real Louisville. Um, first of all, a very, very hard fought battle. You know, Clemson's got, I think, the second best rated defense in our league. And um, their physicality, uh, especially in the first half, you know, knocked us back. Uh, I thought our defense was, was every bit as good. You know, we made a uh, point of uh, trying to keep Elijah Thomas's touches in the paint down as best we could. He's as good of a big as there is in our league. And, um, you know, probably saw that in the last, you know, five, eight minutes. He does a great job of sealing, and, and we didn't continue that trend all the way through, limiting his paint touches. But it was a hard game to score. You know, when you miss a shot against Clemson, they're not going to race it back up and try to attack or play that tennis match. And um, you know, I give our kids credit for being able to withstand that mental grind. Uh, we're going to play a couple other teams that are going to do that to us as well um, and not let it diminish our defensive effort. Uh, I know what you're going to ask about. Uh, I thought in the very beginning um, what got us that lead uh, was our ability to attack the pressure and, and result in some good things. You know, we are able to get over the half court strike, uh, get into a set play, which resulted for a Jordan dunk and one, gave more separation. I think the very next time they pressed us, uh, we did exactly what we wanted to. We flashed a guy, um, the wing flew down the floor. And Ryan makes a great pass, I think, to, uh, to Malik, and he dunks the ball. So, um, you know, down the stretch, again, we have to figure out ways to close games better. And, um, you know, I told our team, you know, mental errors and physical errors cannot be tolerated in winning time. It's the first time our guys have, have ever been in positions where they are closing games. And what I mean by that, like they're on the floor. They're in the moment. They're closing the game. And so, um, you know, we had maybe against Florida State and Duke, maybe two of the toughest locker rooms uh, that I've been in, uh, in in the regular season. And I'm sure to a certain extent, uh, those ghosts were probably in our guys' minds a little bit. But we, um, we just have to be stronger with the ball. That's all I can tell you. We have to, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, Dwayne hunches over the ball. It's like I told them, you know, you, you have to be able to pivot and move the ball so they can't just reach in and get an easy jump ball. Um, so, you know, we'll get better because of it. i tell you this, I might have retired had we not blocked that shot at the very end. <laughs> Guys got to be able to stand up, though, when we're breaking the press and not, not fall down like they're walking down to a wine cellar. Coach, it seemed like uh, there was uh, not, not a lot of energy from the team, especially early. It seemed like it was a lot, a lot of one-on-one. Um, not, uh, I'll, I'll I don't agree with that. They're, they're a team that's really hard to extend, mm -hmm. um, you know, with, with ball screen action, which, you know, we're a team that, you know, uh, tries to get the ball in the paint. Our bigs were very ineffective on offense. And so, um, you know, while I think that, you know, we, we missed some shots uh, and we tried to um, stretch them and spread them, they're, they're a team that doesn't exert a lot of energy outside the arc. So it's hard to stretch Clemson. And we were trying to do it in, in, in different ways and just and we couldn't. And then, you know, you go one, one for nine, I think there were some decent looks. And again, they try to take the air out of the ball coming to offense. So, um, again, you're going to play, play some games like that. But I thought if our energy level was bad, we would have been porous on defense. No doubt. And, and as far as um, just do you think there was any feeling sorry for themselves after the Duke let down? Was that a part of what happened today? Uh, I don't know about that choice of words of feeling sorry for ourselves. But, you know, when you invest a lot and you love your teammates and you want uh, your team to win, yeah, it hurts a hell of a lot. But I don't think they felt sorry for ourselves, maybe in the immediacy of the game. But, you know, I thought we sort of wiped that out, you know, over the last couple of days and, and look forward to a team that was just as desperate as Louisville. So speaking of the last couple of days, uh, I know that you didn't watch the new film. Uh, yes, I did. You, oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> I watched it several times. Okay. Um, what did you tell the team, I guess, today at, as the game was going on? That it wasn't a sense of um, them, I guess, playing with the urgency that you probably wanted them to or, or to get everything uh, situated to, to get this win? Well, I thought we did play with the urgency. I just I think offensively we weren't, uh, we weren't very good, but I thought our defensive effort um, – 
I mean, they shoot 38 percent. You know, they're, they're three point percentage at the end of the game is 46, but they make two or three threes in the last two or three minutes. Their whole identity is to go inside. Um, you know, I thought, uh, again, for, for the better part of the game, our team was locked in defensively. Like I said, they're the number two defensive team in the country. They play very slow. Um, so it's, it's going to be hard at times to look like a game that sort of high flying and, and, and guys moving around. And again, maybe that contributes to what you think is a lack of energy. Chris, you mentioned Dwayne's posture, but there have been a couple other guys who have fallen too. Is that also posture with them? It was how they're carrying themselves, trying to catch those passes and get open? Or? No, I, I meant when I said posture, I'm talking about the, the, the tie up. Oh, okay. If I hold this water bottle like this and you come over and grab it, and I don't move it, you're going to be able to grab it. If you come over and I go like this, it'll be tough for you. Chris, um, Jordan had two blocks today. The big one was the second one. Right, right. So we could we, we, we really worked on when we can't break a press to come out of nowhere and block shots. <laughs> I was going to ask you if the block and blocks is, is in any way are in any way indicative of how far he's come defensively this year or... Um, Jordan is so much better defensively uh, here in February than he was in October, and it's, it's not even close. You know, part of it's just game experience. Um, you know, he's a very, uh, he's a very thoughtful kid. Um, he loves his teammates. And, you know, when you're out there for an extended period of time where your teammates are leaning on you and you, and you let them down, He's one that's going to feel accountable to those guys. And I think he learned that over time, and he's gotten fundamentally better um, on the defensive end. His technique is much better. Uh, his desire is much better. And so we, we need him to be a good, you know, if you, if you have one guy that lets down uh, or doesn't do what the other four are doing, you're not going to be a good defensive team. Coach, uh, you talked earlier about the fact your team just has to find a way to close out games. Um, are you concerned that these late game breakdowns might be becoming a trend for your team? If, if you are, or why? Yeah, I'm, I'm always concerned. I'm concerned about everything in our program. So, um, you know, the only thing that, that, that we can do is, is learn from those experiences. Uh, it's nice to learn in a win. Uh, as I said, you know, we took baby steps forward today. You know, if you go back and, and you watch everything that happened in the last three minutes, um, the first two and a half minutes were really good really good. You know, you're talking about quick strikes against a team that, that generally doesn't give you quick strikes. We were able to break their pressure, like I said, run a set play. We got a Jordan dunk right at the rim and an one. And and then the next time down the floor, you know, we throw it to the middle. Dwayne or, or whoever it was, I think it was Dwayne, hits Ryan. You know, now we get a two-on-one. Boom, we capitalize. And so we, we just have to be able to carry those positive experiences all the way through. Yeah, I'm always concerned. It's something we're going to continue to work on and work on and work on and get better at. Coach, as far as the play is, Darius played, Darius Perry, just back-to-back -back games where he's played well. Do you sense his confidence just coming back? He, he, he did a much better job, you know, these last couple weeks, both with his effort and practice and his, and his play on the floor. Um, you know, he, he uh, got tested a few times on the defensive end, and I thought he did a terrific job of guarding the ball and not letting it get in the lane. Um, it's good to see he, he's a much better shooter than he's shown all year. And, you know, I'm not dumb. I know that's – big part of confidence when you feel like you know you're not playing as many minutes it's hard to be as confident as a guy that plays 30 34 minutes but you know that's where he's at and he's working his way out of it and I thought his, his con contribution tonight was awesome how, how was CC able to be so effective in the second half he um, you know he just had he has a toughness about him you know like when I met with him after the game after the Duke game uh, on our day off and I just said hey tell me what you're thinking and uh, you know he he said, Coach, I screwed up. And he didn't use the word screw. You know, he just he said it three or four times. And, you know, in a day and age where everybody wants to blame someone else and say, well, if he'd have gotten open or if he'd have done this, you know, when you have ownership like that, you're, you're able to move forward. Um, CeCe's an awesome kid, and he, he is a general, and I just think he, uh, you know, he's mentally tough. We, we need a couple other guys to, you know, keep following the leader. And, uh, and we're going to get better because of it. Hey, we got one of the toughest schedules in the entire country. We got 18 wins and uh, felt like we punted three games away. And so uh, make no mistake, we got to get better in closing games, and we will. 
But uh, as I said the other night, man, I love this group. Um, they've done everything we've asked and more, and they've exceeded a lot of people's expectations outside of our locker room. Quick follow-up on uh, on Perry there. Uh, about midway through the second half, you had Quan at the scorer's table, and then all of a sudden Perry hits that three. You know, was that just, once you saw him hit that three, did that just give you confidence to leave him out on the court? Yes. He'd been there, he'd been in, in there for a while, and so it was really his turn to come out. But knowing that Darius, you know, like hasn't shot the ball well, the last thing I wanted to do is once he hits a three, hey, you know, get him out of there. It's like, you know, he's feeling good about himself. He's, he's really, you know, contributing. And so, uh, you know, Darius isn't a guy that gets tired. Now, if it's Enoch or somebody that, that gets a little winded, it, it, whether it went in or not, probably got to pull him out. But Darius, could, you know, he's an energizer bunny, and uh, so I, I want him to continue to feel good about when he's out on the floor. Chris, Ryan had two huge assists there toward the end of the game. Do you consider him a good passer, great passer, terrific passer? How do you look at his passing ability? Uh, he's a good passer. You know, sometimes he gets a little too cutesy with his passes. You know, it looks one way and throws the other. And, you know, he threw the ball out of bounds tonight on the break, if you remember. So, uh, and I think that's just a function of, like I told him, you know, you don't always have to be the cutest guy in the room. You know, to make the right, solid, strong play. Um, his defense has come miles. Um, he, he's, he's helped our team win a lot of games. But yeah, I think he's, he's got a really good mind for the game. He sees plays develop, um, just like he did when Jordan curled around and got open. And he had the presence of mind to, to drop the defender's hands before he threw it over his hands so that we could, you know, get that play. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.